Hey, I'm Varisha. Hey, what's up? I'm Monique. And we are doing the Ode to Black Love 21 Questions, Best Friends Edition. And we've been best friends for 10 plus years since high school. I like 21 questions, and they all about us. So, I will go first. Okay. <laughs> when do you think you inspired me? When do I think you inspire I inspired you? Yes. Um, I think being pregnant and becoming a mother. I think it allowed you to see a whole different side of me. I would definitely agree with that. Because <laughs> she's been there since day one, okay? All right. What do you think I want most in life? Most in life? Well, I think you've already got one. You definitely wanted children, and I think that you desire to be married in a healthy relationship. Absolutely. What do you think I take for granted? What do I think you take for granted? Yes. Ooh, that's a good one. I think you take time for granted. I think you're so caught up in your goals, and which is a great thing. I mean, I think you've accomplished everything that you said you wanted to do since high school, but I do think you take time for granted, meaning like time with people. Like, I think that you should kick back, relax sometimes, because you're doing good. Like, you're doing really good. And I feel like you said you're going to be a police officer in high school. You are that. You've already grew up in levels and not even 30 yet. So I think you just need to kick back, relax, and enjoy time more. Well, thank you. Because I'll be working. <laughs> okay, working. <laughs> How honest are you with me? One hundred thousand. <laughs> Period. Okay. Cutthroat. <laughs> cutthroat. On both ends. Very, very cutthroat. Yes, and I appreciate it. <laughs> yes, me too. You can't have a yes man friendship. They ain't your real friend. If they tell you yes, talking time. Okay. They made you cry. Y'all ain't real friends. <laughs> if there was one thing that I still don't understand about you, what would it be? how reserved I am sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely want to know everything mm -hmm. and you do get a lot out of me, but mm -hmm. I am very reserved, very uh, keep things to myself, but I appreciate you for pulling that out of me okay, a lot of times. I, <laughs> I need you to <laughs> About everything. <laughs> What's something our relationship has lost over the years? Hmm. Something that I has lost? I would say time. I don't see you as much. <laughs> so that's probably it. Yeah. I mean, we FaceTime all the time, but yeah. I think like us spending more time, because we used to always go to Applebee's or wherever it was, at least like two or three times a yeah. week together. Waffle House. Waffle House, for people sure. People watch. Right, people <laughs> watch. The one I'm yeah. bringing in. Time, time, definitely. But I think that's a part of just growing, growing up. Growing up, I yeah. agree. Yeah. I still do think we should probably do like once a month dates with each other. We can schedule it. Yeah. You know I'm all about scheduling. Right. <laughs> How do you feel about the relationships in my life? How I feel about the relationships? Yeah, like family, friends, work, all that. Um, I feel good. I feel like they're healthy because I feel like you, for the most part, but I feel like because you are very honest and don't put up with shit, so I feel like there's a lot of things that you won't allow that will allow them to not be healthy. I feel like you need to communicate more in some, but other than that, I feel like they're healthy. I knew you was going to say that. Yep. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait, did I go? <laughs> oh, yeah, that um, ain't even my turn. Right. <laughs> Why are you proud of me? I am proud of you for um, your growth, um, not only as a mother in um, your career, but just as an individual. I feel like a lot of times back... Um, in the early years of our friendship, you would allow a lot. Mm -hmm. To whereas you kind of tuck on my approach and you don't allow <laughs> as much. And right. you stand up for yourself. And you're very open and honest about your feelings. Um, if you feel like something bothers you, you're very vocal about that. And, um, yeah, you have no problem with communication. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah. What is your favorite song? My favorite song? Yeah, I know your favorite artist, but can we really narrow it down to one song? To one song? Yeah. <laughs> J. Cole is my favorite. Given. Okay, and I would say my favorite song would be Love Yours. 
by him. By J. Cole. By J. Cole, of course. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna put this back in the deck. <laughs> no. Because <laughs> I'm just saying, y'all gonna make me cry here. Okay. When was the last time I made you proud? <laughs> um. Last time you made me proud was um. This is a little deep. <laughs> um, your decision to um change your co-parenting relationship with your child's father, you know, that hasn't always been the best, but you really just um, decided to be the bigger person in the situation right. and look out what's best for your child's interests, even though that we can sometimes think that um, the absence of, or the inconsistencies in their presence is hurtful to the child, but um, you've truly just put your feelings aside, um, looked out for Callie because she deserves more. And right. that took a lot for you because, right. you know, some people are not deserving right. of that, but you you did that. Thank you. <laughs> Y'all got me crying. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. <laughs> Right, right. 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 <laughs> this is much, and I ain't a cryer, but where's the tissue? <laughs> what do you know how to do that you can teach others? Well, I know how to do that I can teach others. Yeah. I think I can teach others to be the bigger person when it comes to, since you spoke on co-parenting, I'll keep it there with co-parenting. I feel like a lot of people become bigger or you think that you want to make the decisions for your baby because you've seen outcomes that may be similar to yours. But I just feel like being the bigger person, you know, allowing to what happens, happens. Don't speak for your child, don't think for your child. Let them have their own feelings feelings and emotions. Like, of course, we want to protect them. They're our babies, but a part of protecting them is keeping a role with them. And you Absolutely. you can't shield them from everything. So you gotta just let right. shit fall out. So The world is as real as it gets. Exactly. And <laughs> that, it, that was short term. Is it on me? Yeah, you just okay. answered. <laughs> What do you think life is teaching me right now? Well, life is teaching us all a lot right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, life is teaching you just keep moving forward. I mean. I agree 100% Just on that. keep moving forward. No matter what's going on, the circumstances, um, the problems that you might have, we can get past them. Just keep moving. Right. Can't worry about it. Yeah. Okay. What what's one piece of advice you have for me regarding my family? Ooh. Communicate and have uncomfortable conversations. I can't argue. Yes. <laughs> I can't, yeah. Good advice. Good yeah. advice. What are three things we have in common? Three things we have in common. Um, we like the same music. Mm -hmm. um, we're both big J. Cole fans. Um, you made me a fan. Um, we like to eat at the same places. I mean, we're the, probably the only people I know that frequent Applebee's. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> <laughs> we are keeping them in business. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, and... We like the same things for entertainment. We watch all the same shows, mm -hmm. listen to the same things, um, and like to discuss uh, our points of views on things. So, right. yeah. When do I make you mad? I don't know about mad, but um, Something that I dislike is when you respond too quickly to things because I feel like when you respond too quickly, then it's more so based off emotion right. than logic and thinking about things. Um, yeah. I agree. 
Yeah. Mm. Not mad, just want you to process that right, before I you respond. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Get your best impersonation of me. <laughs> um, we'll put think of one. Um, I can impersonate you at work. Okay, um, yeah. Okay. Hi, this is Ray for Original Finance. Hey, so what's going on? Why are you? <laughs> so, is there a reason why you're late on your account? Okay, we have a few things that we can do to help you become current. <laughs> Pay me, in other words, okay? <laughs> Pay me my money. <laughs> okay. I can think of a funny one. <laughs> First, Go. ain't you at work? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, is Michael here? Yeah, I have a VPO. <laughs> Police knock. <laughs> and that's like literally always been my knock. I don't know why. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> what do you think I learned most from my parents? One thing you learn from your parents is both of your parents are so loving. Mm -hmm. They're always there for you when you're siblings. So I think you have that down pat. Mm -hmm. You're always there for people and you got that from both of your parents. Right. I agree. Now from your parents, you also got <laughs> <laughs> that dinginess. Because <laughs> they both got that too. Right. Both just left. Yeah. And y'all, you ain't been right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Can't help me, okay? Can't help yeah. me. It's really, but everybody, my granny, like, yeah. my mama's other mother. It's just in the family. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think drives me? Growth. Say career growth and goals, but I, the goal is to be one too. Growth and goals. Feel like because you've always, I feel like everything is always like, okay, I need to do this to get here. Whether you're working more hours to save more for your down payment on your house or to pay off everything on your credit. By the way, debt free before thirty. That's awesome. Yes. So I just feel like those things have always been in the back of your mind. They're always like I feel like you hit one thing and are always working to the next. So I feel like that's what drives you, Thank which you. is also why you work so much. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> what am I really good at? What are you getting people told? <laughs> <laughs> but you are a good mother. You Thank are you. a good mother. Um, you're a good friend. Thank you. Good sister. Thank you. Like you're just a good um person for people. Right. Not just me, but for a lot of people. Well, you're just you. a good person. You know how people have to have that person. You're that for oh. just more than me. So yeah. Thank you're you. good at doing that. <laughs> What is something you want to do in the future? Something I want to do in the future? Yes. Um, something I want to do in the future is invest in real estate. Okay. Yes, that is what I want to do and I'm working toward. What is the most ridiculous thing I've ever done? I don't know. Can we come back to that one? We can or I can answer for you. Do you answer yeah. 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 The most ridiculous thing you've done is when we was at Regina's going away party, I think, at the Airbnb it was, that we were at. Yeah. And JD was spraying people, like, <laughs> spraying the shots at people. Did you just turn a question on me? Yes. <laughs> the most ridiculous thing you have done. I can name one. I just bought that goose the other day at work. Yeah. But you... Uh, being drunk and rolling off the bed <laughs> out of nowhere and then taking a three-hour bubble bath <laughs> that we almost drowned That was you given in. to me. I <laughs> had no part in yeah, taking yeah. that bath. <laughs> Greg, me, I think it was me and Greg just sat you in the bubble bath and then Ebony came in and poured the whole damn bottle of bubbles yeah. in there and Ebony almost drowned you. definitely tried to take me out. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> yeah. I can't think of one thing right now, but if I, if I, if I could... I'll okay. come back to that. So it's my turn again since you answered that. Mm -hmm. What's the hardest thing about our relationship? The hardest thing? I think there's, uh, I can speak for me. I think there's some things, I tell you everything, but some stuff I might wait a little bit to tell you because I know you're the one person 
that's going to keep it real with me no matter how I feel about it and not sugarcoat it. So I tell you everything, but it may take me a minute because you know like when you want to hear something or you want to tell somebody something, but you don't want to hear what they're going to say, but you know you need to hear it. So So does that mean it's negative or is it just... I think it's a good thing, but... Does it mean I'm negative or I'm just truthful? No, I don't think you're negative. I think you're just truthful. Yeah, gotcha. which is not a bad thing. Like, I think that's another thing I love about our friendship is that you tell me what I need to hear. So I think that's also helped me grow into the woman I am today because people that I surround myself with don't just tell me what I think is right. You tell me what I need to hear, whether it's with Callie or how I'm so protective over her, or whatever it may be. Like, I just feel like that's one thing. Okay. When am I my best self? When you're around your daughter, you're okay. you're you're a very good mother. I can't take that away from you. And I'm not just saying that because you're my friend. You're right. a very good mother. Thank you. Um, when you're around your family too, I feel like um, when you're around your mother, your grandmother, and your aunt, you're just um, carefree. Like you know, you you love being around your family. So right. that's. That's nice to see. I agree. <laughs> when was the last time you cried? Oh, wow. Just now. <laughs> the other day I cried because Callie is really starting to test me. She in turn two and turned up. So I have to start more disciplining her more. And the other day I was walking her up the stairs to put her in bed. And then when she, I don't even remember what she did, but it was something she had to be like, Callie, stop, like, and raise my voice to her because gentle parenting don't work when kids don't want to be gentle. (laughs) (laughs) I had to really just, like, yell at her. I think I even made a pop girl. I don't remember. But we went up in the room, and she was fine. Like, good night, Mommy. And I just hugged her and started crying because it's like I really am she got a pop pop right and it's like that's normal she's too but I'm like I just try to be gentle with her but she starting to try me so I have to get a hold on it so that's the last time I cried and it was really like a (laughs) cry and she was like mommy like what's wrong with you like you got a whooping and you right exactly but I'm like girl like give me a break parenting is hard if I could choose three people to live on an island with, who would they be? Me, Kelly, and your mama. Period. <laughs> <laughs> we might need a few more slots, but yeah. Right. I was like, we might need a few That's more. That's that. Right. Because somebody got to have a you know what. But. Yeah. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> what is something I really need to hear? Something you need to hear? Yeah. You getting all the deep questions. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I want you to hear that it's okay to communicate with people and have those uncomfortable conversations when they don't want to hear it. It's okay to, I wouldn't say hurt people's feelings. It's not about what you say, it's how you say it. So I definitely think that you need to do that. I think that you need to take a step back and appreciate yourself more. Look at what you have accomplished. Um, take time to celebrate you more. I don't feel like you do that enough or let people do that enough for you. I feel like you're a great person. You're a great friend. You're a great god mom. You, everything. Like I say, like we don't spend much time together, but Kelly always put on her backpack and saying she's going to your house. So it's like you are a great person and you need to take a step back and appreciate yourself more and do stuff that makes you happy more. I feel like you're always doing things for other people and you have to take a step back and Think about you. Thank you. You're welcome. Is it you? Me? No, it's Me. you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I need to read it. What is preventing me from becoming the person I want to be? You. Okay. We hold ourselves back. That's that's just that on that. Right. Yeah. We hold ourselves back. You be what you want to be in. It's up to you to get there, so. I agree. That was one of my New Year's resolutions, for sure. Last one's on me. It was on me. Oh, my bad. Go ahead. (laughs) My bad. What do you think I am learning from you? Well, I think you're learning from me. Yeah. I think you're learning to be more open. Definitely. That's what I think you're learning from me. 
Yeah. It's working. We getting there. It's you a are. slow journey, but yeah. <laughs> right. I know it's working because you're telling me like you're thinking about having these conversations. Yeah. You went opposed to me before it was me telling you this is what you need to do as you start to happen yet. Yeah. But we'll get there. That was fun. I that really enjoyed fun. that. I like that. <laughs> that was really dope. Yeah. I like them. Yeah. I think they're good. Yeah. I, I think, think the crushes. Be-